This ordinance has two elements. First, we require every gun owner in the city to have insurance, just as every driver has to have insurance to use a car. And second, uh, we would be funding violence prevention initiatives uh, with a fee that would be levied on gun owners uh, so that we could invest in reducing domestic violence and suicide and provide mental health services and other kinds of services, particularly to households in which a gun is owned. We can't wait for Congress. Cities are stepping up throughout the country. States are increasingly stepping up as well. Uh, we want to encourage folks to deploy approaches that will reduce gun harm in their own communities. We're going to learn from each other. We're going to take the best ideas and hopefully scale them. There are most definitely plans uh, to challenge this in court. Uh, California either affects or infects what happens throughout the country. In this case, we would look at this as an uh, unconstitutional infection that we want to stop here. So there will be a lawsuit filed asking for an injunction that will prevent this from going into effect and then ultimately uh, having the, the, the ordinance uh, declared unconstitutional and overturned. We um, are concerned about uh, uh, victims of gun violence, but we are not to blame. This law, in essence, assigns blame to lawful gun owners. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.